Getting ready to document a 12 day hunt up in British Columbia with my buddy Connor Gabbett. First things first, food. Space and weight is everything on these hunts. So I take all my freeze dried, put them into one quart Ziplocs. It saves a ton of garbage space and weight. And then when I'm ready to cook them, I just put boiling water into this guy and good to go. Probably the number one question I get asked is what gear do you take on your hunts? Your photography gear, your camping gear, food, everything. So today I'm going to be diving into each and every item that I'm taking to British Columbia. First up, Honey Stinger Waffle, three of them. Honey Stinger Protein Bar. Honey Stinger Super Fruit and Ancient Grain. Cliff Mojo Bar. Cliff Bar. Cliff Shot Gel. Cliff Shot Blocks. Bag of Trail Mix. Beef Jerky. Ramen Noodles. Mountain House. Starbucks Instant Via Coffee. Noon Drink Tablets. In total, that's 2,900 calories, and 980 of these calories are from fat. Fat's actually really good for endurance. They say that endurance athletes should have roughly one third of their caloric intake be from fat. Higher fat diets increase oxidation, which basically can increase endurance during prolonged exercise. Thermarest Neo Air camping pad, Velandre Bloody Mary sleeping bag, granite gear compression sack, inflatable camp pillow by Cocoon. Mystery Ranch Marshall Backpack, Pack Fly from Sea to Summit, Easton Carbon Fiber Trekking Pole, Black Diamond Storm Headlamp, Emergency Kit, which includes an emergency blanket, Quick Clot, Lighter, Fire Starter, Other Way to Start a Fire, Hatodyne, Micro Pure, Iodine Tablets because filters are heavy, Whistle, Little Leatherman, Emergency Headlamp, Compression Wrap, Ibuprofen Hiding in the Middle, Extra TP because you never know, Armored in Reach, Satellite Texting Device, Noon Case, Half Noons and Half Pepto Bismol. Sinead's Bear Tooth, Toiletry Kit, One Liter Platypus Water Bottle. These things are sweet because they're flexible and when you're out of water, they suddenly become this small. The GSI Fair Share Mug for my mountain houses. It's got a screw on lid. Dump mountain house in there, boiling water in, screw back on, good to go. Titanium spork. Sitka Merino long underwear, three of them. Bits, socks, repairs. Sitka Merino long underwear top. Sitka scent pants. Sitka Kelvin light hoodie. Sitka dew point rain gear. Sitka core lightweight hoodie. Sitka shooter glove. Sitka storm front glove. Sitka wool hat. A buff knee brace in case I tweak my knee. Known to happen. Whew. So that's all the camping and backpacking and food and all that type of gear that I'm taking. Next up is all my photography gear. But before we do that, let's just take a little breather with some wildlife footage. You better grab that tambourine. Bring the bass, we might be weak. I'm gonna dive into the camera gear that I'm taking. First up, two Canon bodies. This is a 6D Mark II, and I'm taking this camera, 5D Mark IV. I've always been a Canon shooter. Sure, they have a few setbacks with video. I love how durable they are. I love how weather resistant they are. I shoot with these in some really bad conditions and do things with them that I probably shouldn't, but they always survive. Battery life is epic. You get like a thousand photos per battery. Another thing that you don't really ever hear about in comparison to the mirrorless cameras is that these have a mirror in them, that little thing. And so when you're swapping lenses, your sensor isn't exposed, which means that you're gonna get a heck of a lot less dust on your sensor. It'll be my first trip with it. Brand new camera, really looking forward to it. It's a full frame upgrade from the original 6D. This one has a flip screen, and this will be my new vlogging camera. So I'll actually be able to see what I'm filming when I'm aiming at myself. Next up, lenses. This is a 24 to 70 f2.8 by Canon. Also taking this lens, which is a 16 to 35 f2.8. This is probably my favorite lens 
guns of all time. This is the Canon 70-200 f2.8 L-Series image stabilization Mark II version. This thing just produces the most epic background blur or bokeh, whatever the heck you want to call it. I love this guy. Then I'll be taking this lens. This is the Canon 50mm f1.4. Awesome in low light. It has really creative depth of field options as well, so it just kind of gives you a really unique look. Canon macro 100mm lens. Got image stabilization. Great for getting up close. It just gets some really creative, unique perspective. Uh, you really just can't see with your own two eyeballs. My biggest lens, if you could call it that, is this Swarovski uh, 30 to 70 power 95mm spotting scope. So this thing mounted on my tripod, got this camera mounted on, with this little handy device called a phone scope. Mount this onto there. You can capture really sweet wildlife footage. Filters, circular polarizing filter. I've got one for every lens I shoot with. Adds color and contrast to the skies, allows you to see in the water, just makes images look that much more vivid. Neutral density filter, if you want to shoot long exposures in the daylight. This will darken the whole image, which requires you to increase your exposure time to get a proper exposure. Batteries. Plan on one and a half batteries per day of shooting. 14 day trip, so 14 times 1.5, taking 21 batteries on this trip. One terabyte of memory cards. Typically I shoot about a thousand photos a day. Every image file is roughly 50 megabytes. For a 14 day trip, that equates to 700 megabytes of images. You do images, plus we plan to shoot quite a bit of video. I figure one terabyte is probably good enough. Rav power battery brick. Charge my iPhone 10 times and get a lot of footage. With my phone, I can also power other devices. The lens coat. Uh, this fits over my camera and basically allows me to shoot in really, really bad weather and conditions. It's totally waterproof. I love shooting in bad weather. There's just so much emotion that comes out in people's faces. This thing costs like 40 bucks, just allows me to do that. They also make plastic versions that are like five bucks a piece. Next up is my cleaning supplies. A blower, blow off dust and debris with this guy. Lens pen here, wipe stuff off with that end. Polish front of your glass with this end. The Zeiss cleaning wipes, these are just little alcohol cleaning wipes. Couple of lens cloths that I'll just always have in my pockets. The cotton camera harness system. And the camera here on my chest, here on the side holster. And I also have a mounting bracket on my shoulder strap in my backpack. Lastly, not pictured, I just bought a NAR box, G-N-A-R box. <laughs> it allows me to do in the field backups. So I got a NAR box and then I bought a two terabyte Samsung solid state drive to connect to it. And it's got a bunch of other different ports. So basically I can just plug in my, my memory cards directly into this NAR box and make a second copy instantly. I always like to have two copies as soon as possible. I hate to travel with only one copy, bad things can happen. So that's all the gear that I'm taking. Quite a bit of stuff. I'm probably gonna be starting with 75, 80-ish pound backpack. One positive thing about that is every day that you eat your food, your pack weight drops by like two pounds. <laughs> anyway, I gotta get to packing and uh, put it on a bag and get ready to hit the airline here soon. Next round of vlogs will be from British Columbia.